Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fugit Blitz and here we go again another week another drama which seems to be part of the course currently with World of Tags Blitz. There's a drama every week. Now unless you've been living under a rock this uh, video has done the rounds a few times now. It was brought to my attention a few days back actually when on one of my live streams my subs were talking about it in the chat room well mainly they were talking about the action that had been taken against some players and I saw that Meadsy posted a video on it yesterday so I thought well I'll give you my take because I've seen the replay I've seen the video after my subs brought it to my attention and I then watched Meadsy's video late last night and thought yeah okay um, it seems to be a hottish topic a lot of people seem to be aggrieved so let's talk about it I'm not going to give you a blow by blow account on the commentary, but I'm just going to give you my views. Now, a couple of things you need to remember. Firstly, we have game rules. There are game rules, they do exist. And secondly, it's a game. And like all games, you know, it, it's entertainment and it's fun. Okay, we take it seriously. Now, the first exception that people have taken to is this one, whereby Melody in the E50 pushes the T62A out of the way. Well, I get that people are annoyed about that, but guys, it happens a lot um, in a lot of games. I mean, if these guys weren't pros, but they are, and these were new players and you're watching a tier 5 game, for example, you wouldn't have thought anything of it. I mean, that happens to me all the time. It happened to me only yesterday on the Asian server, where an E50 pushed me out of the way of a kill and it's annoying and it shouldn't happen but it does and it's all part and parcel of playing the game because people are selfish now okay these two guys are pros and they shouldn't need to do that but it's life guys and it does happen a lot and yes technically speaking it is a breach of the game rules which states that um, Unsportsmanship behaviour, this is in clause one, is not tolerated. And such unsportsmanship behaviour, as stated in clause 2.1.1, includes blocking. So yeah, they blocked. It shouldn't have been done. But it was done and it happens a lot. The other accusation is that the game is rigged in order to get into the Hall of Fame. Now, okay, we'll get to that later. But I just want to point out that Regardless of what you may think, Melody still had to play the game, and this game could have gone either way. There's no guarantee they would have won it. There's no guarantee that all his shots would have landed and he would have been doing the roles that he did. RNG was on his side. And there is certainly no guarantee he would have blocked as much as he blocked. And, you know, you can criticise Alison Becker for using HE or for blocking or whatever, but... If you look, Alison Becker really does not do anything to improve the stats of Melody. And that's important because that is another violation of the game rules. Rigging of games or similar actions to improve a player's statistics or gain a reward is a violation. Now, Melody doesn't need to improve his stats on the E50M. They're already pretty darn good. So, is he doing it to improve his stats? I doubt that. Is he doing it to get a reward? Mm, I don't know. But, let me put it to you this way. How many times have you been in a situation whereby you've got six kills and there's one left and you say to your teammates, leave him for me? And they do. That's also rigging guys. That's also a breach of the rules. That is no different to what these guys have done here. Now... Alison Becker does a really stupid act in a moment, and I get people's aggrievance with that. Alison Becker blocks the Camp 70 from getting shots onto this T62. However, at this stage of the game, Melody is on 8,000 damage. So this is no different to him potentially getting a Raz. And all Alison Becker is doing is ensuring that he gets maximum damage. I've seen that happen 
on players who need to get razzes because you don't want anybody to steal that kill. What Alison Becker is doing is wrong and they shouldn't have done it. You should not have blocked the Camp 70. It's on sportsmanship and it's not good and you're professional players and people look up to you and respect you and you shouldn't do that. I totally agree with that and I do not condone that action. However, I just want to put this to you. Had these players not been pros and in the clans that they are in, would this video, or oh, oh, in this, in this wouldn't have gone into the Wall of Fame, would this video be doing the rounds? I would say no. The only reason it's doing the rounds is because A, it's in the Hall of Fame, and B, it involves two professional players who are relatively well known. I've seen acts like this happen in almost, in a lot of games, and whilst I'm not condoning it, what, that what they both did is stupid and wrong, unfortunately it's part and parcel of the game, guys. You know, I've seen people block to get those kill shots, I've seen kill steals, and I've seen games being manipulated so they can get the Raz medal. This is no different in strictest sense of the terms. It's just an act of stupidity. Action has been taken against players, I understand, because that's what I read on my chat. And rightly so, because they acted in an unsportsmanship way. Did they rig it? I don't think they did. Not realistically. They rigged it no more than you would get a Raz medal by asking your teammates not to take the shot and let me get the kill. Utter stupidity, yes. No place in the game, yes. Intent to be, I don't know, I don't know the, the jury's out on that one. Because as I said, this game could have gone either way, 50-50. There's no guarantee they would have won it. There's no guarantee he would have got that damage. There's no guarantee he was going to get into the Hall of Fame. That only became evident towards the end of the game. Anyway, I've been Fuji, and I'd like to understand your thoughts on it. As I said, I don't condone the actions. I think they were stupid and wrong. And yes, they should be punished. But, as I said, if they weren't for pros and they weren't, and it wasn't this game in the Hall of Fame, this would have been a storm in a teacup. By all means, comment and everything below, as I said. Share your thoughts. Please, if you haven't subscribed, press subscribe. It's a lovely thing to do. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Big shout out to my Patreons for their continued support, allowing me to make such videos, and my subs for getting me past 3,000 subscribers. Big thumbs up for you guys. Until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because guys, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.